Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is day one of electrical rough-in, so uh, going to start by putting the boxes up on the wall. I have a total of seven outlets that are going to be kind of around the, um, the three walls. Um, I'm going to have two outlets on the ceiling for the lights, um, so there's going to be two LED lights, high bay lights, 100 watt, um, and they're going to be run on a dimmer switch. And then the other uh, item is going to be the heater. So I think today I'm going to get the boxes up and um, start drilling some holes through the studs and uh, probably pulling some wire as well. I'm trying to get everything just in place and then I probably won't wire start wiring today. But um, yeah, that'll be another day. So anyways, enjoy. <music> So basically what I'm doing here is uh, I'm taking the electrical box and uh, basically measuring up 42 inches and I've drawn a line there and uh, basically put the box, it's got these little tabs on the side here up against the stud. Um, I also have a vapor barrier box around there as well and then I've just screwed it into the stud as you can see. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just uh, cutting a, a slit in that vapor um, box to slide the, that little wing through so I can screw it into the stud. Um, I don't know if you're technically supposed to do that, but uh, I don't know. I don't even know if most people actually use these, these vapor boxes, but uh, I thought I'd, uh, thought I'd try it and just put them out there. And I could be kind of ruining the whole thing just by cutting it, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. First time I've done this, so anyways. So um, now I'm going to go and put the box up for the light switch. So um, as you can see here, we have the panel. Um, so I'm going to keep it really close to the panel and just inside the, the door. So I'm going to put it on the one stud here and I think I'm going to put it up about 48 inches. So moving on to the, uh, the boxes for the lights now. Um, so basically I'm gonna have two high bay LEDs in here. Um, so how I'm gonna do it is it's 24 feet long. 
I'm going to set both of them six feet in from the ends. Um, so I'll try to install the boxes um, kind of in the right area on one of the studs. And um, yeah. So all the outlets are now installed. Got all the wall outlets. And I just finished the ceiling outlets. I got one there and one over there. Welcome back folks. So today um, I'm going to get to drilling some of the holes and hopefully pulling some of the cable for electrical. So for doing the, the holes for the wires I'm using a, a right angle um, drill with a, a three quarter inch um, bit, uh, self driving bit from Irwin. Um, works pretty well. So far, uh, I have hit a few nails here and there, so I'm gonna have to go back and uh, clean up a few spots, but uh, otherwise it's, it's going good.
through the studs. Um, <clears throat> I don't have a long enough bit so I've put kind of all these pieces together and uh, it's not the greatest setup but it's, uh, it's working okay. So. Got all the holes drilled um, for the wire. It was a uh, bit of a pain in the butt. Um, I happened to hit a few nails along the way that uh, were from the sheeting uh, into the studs, so that was a little bit tricky, but um, I managed to get through it, and uh, now we're on to feeding the wire. So the first wire I'm gonna run will be a 10 gauge wire. Um, Basically, this is going to be to to directly wire in the uh, the heater that I got. Um, so it's a little bit heavier, you can see here, or maybe not. I don't know. It's thicker wire, but um, yeah.
So I got the 10 gauge wire pulled through. As you can see here, left a little bit extra here. Um, I'm gonna probably staple it to the stud there. It's a little bit difficult pulling 10 gauge wire, let me tell you. Through the corner there, and then over here. I'm gonna end up putting a heater probably up in the corner here, so I'm just gonna leave it there for now, and then um, I might have to put it up through the top plate, and we'll see. I think the heater has to be eight feet off the ground, so. Yeah. First cable for the outlets, um, and I've run the cable for the heater. I've got to run one more cable for the outlets because um, I'm kind of offsetting uh, every other outlet, so I've got them split up on two different circuits, if that makes sense. So i um, got to run that wire now, and then lighting, um, i got to run that 14 gauge wire, and then that part will be done.
slits and now I'm going to do the wiring for the lights. So I'm going to run 14 gauge wire from the panel up and around and then at this point go up through the top plate along that rafter to the outlet there and then I'll come back down the rafter and run it probably in the same hole as the 10 gauge wire and I'll run that down the wall and then up through that top plate to that outlet. So all the wiring's in now, and I've actually fast forwarded a little bit. So all the outlets are now wired, uh, switch is wired, and the sub panel is wired as well. So I'm just gonna walk you through and show you what things look like. So uh, we got the switch and the sub panel here, and you can see I've kind of cleaned up the wiring a little bit. Outlets are all in, so these are all uh, 20 amp outlets uh, wired on 12 gauge wire. So I got two along this wall and two along this back wall. And sorry for the mess in here, it's uh, quite a bit going on right now. But, and we've got two more outlets there so this is kind of where the workbench is going to be in the future um, and then we have an outlet down here near the garage door and then up on the ceiling i've got uh, two 15 amp uh, outlets wired in on 14 gauge wire and those are what the lights will be plugged into Okay, so just a rundown on the sub panel here. So you can see I've got all the wires coming in at the top of the sub panel. 
So we've got the red wire, which is 10 gauge, which the um, heater will be hardwired into. And that is on this 30 amp breaker. And you can see we've got the white wire coming in. It is 14 gauge, it's on the 15 amp breaker here, so that'll be for the lights. And I've got the two yellow 12 gauge wires coming in, they're hooked up on the 20 amp breakers. Um, this is my first sub panel I've ever wired, so I, I think I've done it correctly. I'm gonna have an electrician come and uh, kind of look everything over and just kind of sign off on it, but I've got the, uh, the wires clamped on there at the top of the box coming in and I basically routed my hot wires um, around to the breakers. They come in on the breakers. The ground wires come in on the ground bar back there. You can see them kind of going up the side and around. And then I've got the neutrals coming in on the neutral bar right there. And you can see here I got the switch. I've actually kind of changed it up. I was originally gonna do a dimmer switch and um, decided against that. It's a little bit more wiring and um, the lights I got, I tested them out already actually. I'm gonna make another video about that. But um, they're, not, they're not too bright that it's overpowering. So I think uh, going without a dimmer switch uh, will be okay. And you can see here, I've just cleaned up the wiring a little bit. So I've used these, um, they're like little wire holders that get nailed into the into the studs there and they kind of clip together and they just keep the, the wires uh, a little bit neater. In some cases I have used staples. So up there you can see I've uh, stapled the two uh, 14 gauge wires together. And I've kind of made these loops. I didn't want the uh, the wires to be super um, super tight on the corners, so I've kind of got them looping around. And then at each outlet, I also left quite a bit of extra, um, just in case for whatever reason um, we need to pull more through and um, rewire or, or change something out. So, so you can see here, I've got that 10 gauge and 14 gauge going through the same hole. Again, stapled together nice and neatly up to the outlet. Outlet here, so a little bit extra. And I was kind of stapling just on the insides here, just above the, uh, above the outlet. And that 10 gauge wire is, um, just kind of sitting there right now. I think I'm going to drill a hole and have it come up through the top plate because that heater, as I said before, has to be eight feet off the ground. So uh, I think I'm going to put a piece kind of across the corner there and mount the heater up there eventually. And so you can see I kind of cleaned up those wires a little bit. Got them going up and over to that outlet. Sorry, I got to walk around my ladder here. So you can see wires coming over, second last outlet, and then running up and over to here. So that's the last outlet right by the garage door. So yeah, there it is. And um, next video we will be taking a look at uh, the lights I got. So you can see here, these are the lights. They are uh, high bay lights, um, 100 watt, I believe, and they're about 21,000 lumens. So I've actually already got them wired in, but I'm gonna do a whole, I got a whole video coming on that. Um, and uh, yeah. Well, there you have it. So thanks for watching, guys. I know it was a bit of a long video, but uh, I just wanted to show all the different steps for the electrical rough-in. And um, if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.